Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel on this beautiful Monday morning from here, Torre Vieja in Spain, guys. Uh, in today's video, I have four amazing Bitcoin charts. One chart showing you exactly but really exactly what Bitcoin is doing at the moment and where we are heading because we just had the halving, a very important moment in the four year cycle. Of course, also giving you a trading tip, some travel advice, uh, answering the question of one of the followers and yes, the news of course, because there's big news about the Bitcoin blockchain and of course, ending the video with an inspirational quote, a beautiful video again on a beautiful morning with a beautiful sunrise, a little bit later, look how bright the sun is. The sun is shining, the weather is hot. Makes you want to record a YouTube video for your Bitcoin family. Now, let's quickly jump into the charts first, guys. Bam! The first chart for today, guys, is this four hour chart. Look how beautifully, but really beautifully, we bounce here in that red area. That area I've been showing you for weeks over and over again. I told you that is the massive support area. We could drop even to 61K. Man, you could even have bought Bitcoin very cheap still here at the low at 59,600 US dollar. Beautiful uh, double bottom over here. Buy signal of the indicator. We went above the yellow stepping line. Beautiful buy signal. Uh, you should be in profit now around 66k uh, you can take profit but you can also stay in it because we can of course see that there is not a lot of resistance in this area over here and we see the next resistance around that 70k area so if we have enough power with bitcoin we will push it uh, to that 70k area we need to push bitcoin price through these small resistance levels over here i don't think that's a problem but it doesn't mean we can't pull back a little bit first you know like bitcoin is always doing the same when they go up come down go up come down go up maybe come down you know slowly doing like this move or something like that now if we zoom out we can see something more important at the moment this is the daily chart um, on the daily chart i i drew that pattern at that time so we broke out of that pattern so then you need to check and observe what kind of pattern are we seeing now now this line needs to be adjusted you see that green line it starts to curl around a little bit more like negatively like this. So sometimes you need to do that. Um, but the pattern that we can now see is a very clear one. And if we take that white line and we draw it now down, let's say we take the wicks or we don't take the wicks. It really doesn't matter that much because it depends on which candles you have. We are hacking ashing, so we can take the bodies. We can also take these wicks, of course. If you take the wicks, you need to also take the wicks up there then. Um, whatever you prefer to calculate with. Now, the pattern that we can see, in my honest opinion, is at the moment a uh, flag. And this flag is a bullish flag. So if we see that bullish flag, we can even extend it maybe even to there, you know, whatever you want. Let's see. Uh, then we can see that this beautiful flag, you know, we are still in that flag pattern. In that flag pattern. In that flag pattern. We need to break out over here. If we break out with that bullish flag, then um, we can go for that next target. And the next target would then be around the pole of that flag. So we can copy and paste that or somewhere over there, uh, which would bring us to a target almost at 90K US dollar. This is on a daily chart. This can take all the way, for example, into May or even June to play out. But that's how Bitcoin normally moves. These are the patterns to keep an eye on. Again, drew it with sloppy hands. And again, it's not perfect, but just showing you the difference between yes, we were making this pattern, we broke out of it. Ah, now maybe it's this pattern. Let's see what we do. We are seeing the levels of uh, Fibonacci retracements over here. We touched exactly the 0 0.618. Now we are at the 0 0.786. Let's take it back to one and then we can see we go higher. If we break out, also there we will be a retest again before we go out higher. Now, let's jump into way more interesting charts if you ask me, because I like to zoom out to the long term. This is the first one. And in the long term, we can see we don't even look at dates, like not exact dates. We just look at the years, 2020, 22, 24. We can see there was a top here in 2021. And that top became, of course, a resistance line. We fought the resistance. We broke the resistance. We, we retested resistance uh, as support now. So if we stay higher, so in this area of that gray line, which is around 60K and higher, if we stay here, that means that that resistance of the past, the previous all-time high, 
became support. And if that becomes support, we can build a new Bitcoin bull market structure of the second phase on that beautifully to highs of 120, maybe to 150 or even 180k. That is how Bitcoin always has moved and it will move again like that. And if we zoom in a little bit more, then of course it's very interesting to see now the Bitcoin halving just happened. The halving happened here in this vertical line. Sorry for the sharpness of the picture. I thought I downloaded the sharp picture. It's not that sharp, but uh, you can still read. So it was 6.25 Bitcoins created every 10 minutes. Now, from the 20th of the halving, it's only 3.125 Bitcoins created every 10 minutes. So in the period of 2024 to 2028, in total, 656,250 Bitcoins will be created. In the previous period, 1.3 million Bitcoins were created. Before that, 2.6 million, 5.2 million in a year. Now, the other thing that you can see in this chart is that whenever this halving takes place, over here it took place, we went into the purple area. Over here, we went from the blue into the yellow area. Over here, from the pink, we went into this blue area. Now, from this purple area, we will go into the next area. Do you believe we are going to this area? Then you should be selling all your Bitcoins right now. Or do you believe between now and 2028, we will go into this area? Then you should be accumulating a shit coin of Bitcoins now. Because that would mean that Bitcoin will go between 100 and 500k in this time frame of four years. That's the choice. Do you believe over here that we go down? Or do you believe we go up over there? If you believe we go up, you should be adding Bitcoins to your portfolio. And if we zoom in a little bit in this, then you can see exactly what happened every time after that halving. That white line is the current line. We are now at the halving. Just like we were at the halving with that green line, that blue line and that red line. The green line was in 2020. The halving was 8,590. The red line was 2016. The halving price was 650. The blue line was in 2012. The halving price was $12. Now just look at the results after this halving. That green line, the halving, we were at 8,500 US dollar. That green line ended at 70K. The green line around the halving to the top was times 8. If you look at that red line from the halving to the top was times 30. That blue line was times 90. So yes, we can see that we go times 90, times 30, times 8. Maybe this time, from the halving, we only go times 3. From the halving, 60k times 3 would end up at 180k. Understand this. Don't look at the previous halving prices. Look at the growth you see after the halving. If we only go times 3, and I'm saying times 3 because 90 divided by 3 is 30. 30 bit divided by 3 is something around 10, but we let's say 8. 8 divided by 3 is, let's say 3, because we went from 8 to 10, now let's say 3. 3 times 60k is 180k should then be the target. Please understand this. You just experienced this moment, the halving block count 210,000. We will go and build a new cycle on top of this halving. We will first go explosively up, then again in a 12-month bear market, bottom out, go sideways, and start a new run up to that new halving in 2028. And the new halving in 2028, we could be at a price of around 200k. Just check this line. If it just goes lower than here, that green line, let's say to over here, that would still be 200k, 60k, 640k. If you would go between the green and red line, the next halving would be 600k. So if the top will be somewhere over here, that's around 180k, guys. Understand how you need to read this job. And yes, of course, one of the forces behind the growth is this chart. This is the cumulative daily inflows into all spot Bitcoin ETFs. We can see that there is a shitload of spot ETFs being bought. Uh, at the moment, we topped over here at 12.17 billion. 
Now we are at 12.26 billion. So the growth was very steep in the beginning, a lot of inflows. Now we're stabilizing. But of course, Hong Kong spot ETFs, China's spot ETFs, they will all start uh, to run in the next couple of weeks somewhere. And we can see some outflows sometimes as well. So we need to consider they also sell now and then the spot ETFs. They won't be hodling as we thought like long, long, long term. A lot of them are also selling, but that could also still be all the grayscale spot Bitcoin ETFs that are being sold. When they are done dumping their Bitcoins, grayscale, so GBTC, then of course we can only see positive inflows for some time. But in the whole, 12.26 billion US dollar within a time of four months is a shitload of liquidity flowing into a new spot ETF and breaking records. I hope you really enjoyed the charts. Uh, first of all, I need to apologize that I didn't do a live AMA yesterday in English. I will do a live AMA in English this week. And yes, I will be giving away 10 t-shirts again, just like I did during the Dutch AMA. So I will be back. But when it comes to the charts, guys, short term, did I tell you, buy the dip? Did you buy the dip at 61, 62K? We are now back there at 66K, 4K profit per Bitcoin. I still believe we could reach the targets again of 70k and even bring it up to 70 to 80k. That should be the target if you look at that daily bullish flag pattern. It was a daily bull flag. It should be breaking out to the top and we should be reaching 80k levels. Does that also mean on the long term I expect the bull market to end in 2024? No, no, no. The end of the bull market will be in 2025 between September and December if you ask me. But we can reach 100k this year. If we go 80k, we could go more bullish and more retail could go down and we could go reach a 100k. We could drop back again back to 80k before we take a next run next year to a real all-time high of that bull market. So always in Bitcoin, one thing only, zoom out. Look at the bigger picture and zoom in at life. Enjoy every little single minute of the day. And yes, don't worry, tomorrow I will be walking on the boulevard again. You can see sporting people and all that stuff. I just was not on time this morning. The trading tip for today, guys. Always look at new technology developments in this space. For example, we all knew that Rune was going live during the halving. Now, Rune is this new layer on the blockchain that will make it able for people to create fungible tokens on the blockchain. What's the difference between a non-fungible token and a fungible token? A non-fungible token, also referred to as an NFT, is a token that is a very unique. Like an NFT, there is only one of that certain ape or one of that certain turtle or one of that certain punk that you want. That's a non-fungible token one of a kind. A fungible token, for example, is Bitcoin, a token that can be exchanged peer-to-peer, one-to-one. It doesn't matter which set you own, it is always the same value. So a set for a set, or a couple of sets for a dollar, maybe in the far future, you know? So fungible tokens are more like the cryptocurrencies, the coins. Non-fungible tokens are more like the NFTs and the ordinals. And now it's possible to start and create fungible tokens as well on the ruined part of the Bitcoin blockchain. So that's a very important technical development why also the rune stones and all the rune token and all that stuff starts to explode of course during the halving because it went live around that halving. So you need to keep an eye on this as a trader as well. If you're not trading the Bitcoin USDT pair but you're like an investor and also meme coins or other tokens, then also keep an eye on Rune because I think it's a very important step for the Bitcoin blockchain that now fungible tokens are being able to be created on the Bitcoin blockchain on the best, strongest, safest, most robust blockchain that there is. So that's a huge development. Keep an eye on it. Go check and do your research about Rune tokens. And I know, yes, guys, that the sun is really bright and maybe the image is not like the best image that you are used to me, but I'm still filming with the same Osmo DJI, a DJI Osmo Pocket, but I will go uh, film downstairs a little bit more so uh, you have a better, better image again, guys. The travel tip for today, whenever you want to connect to people, it is very easy to do that through sports. Sports has always been connecting people all over the world. So for example, when you go to Thailand and you take Muay Thai classes, you will get a shitload of friends through that sport. And you will go for dinners and for parties and of course do a lot of sports together. And that is all over the world. So when we were traveling, 
the most easy way for us to connect to other people or for the children to connect to other children was through sports. Jessa, for example, through horse riding. Juna and Julie, for example, through yoga and also through Muay Thai lessons. Me, also through Muay Thai, through pedal, through all kinds of sports. Here in Spain, the most famous sport is padel. I think you call it padel, not pedal, did he? Pedal is like this thing on the sea there on the waves. Padel. Uh, yeah, I play padel in Thailand, as you know, and I, I'm going to play padel here as well to connect to the local community here as well. And for me, of course, it's a little bit more simple because wherever I come and I tweet and I'm there, a lot of people start to connect with me because that's a huge advantage of all those followers on Instagram and uh, YouTube and everything. That's, of course, more simple. Uh, but there was also a time that we didn't have that following and those friends online, so that was the time we went to sport clubs. And that's always a connection between people. And of course, it's likely that you meet the same minded people at that sport because they are doing the same sport that you're liking. So yes, that's the travel tip for today. If you want to connect to people and you have difficulties in restaurants or clubs or in bars, then go do some sports and you will find a shitload of people that have the same passion as you and you collectively can do that sport. That was a travel tip for today, sports. There were two very interesting questions uh, from the followers that I can combine probably in the same answer. The first question was, hey Didi, what if the dollar collapsed? What will happen to the stable coins like USDT? They are packed to the dollar. One dollar is once USDT. What if the dollar collapsed to 50 cent? Is then still that stable coin one dollar or will it also collapse to 50 cent and what does it mean for bitcoin because most people express the value of bitcoin in us dollars now my answer is very simple stupid simple we should stop calculating the bitcoin price in us dollars we should start to calculate us dollars in the bitcoin price bitcoin should be the king bitcoin should be the world reserve currency that we all calculate to that will take time in my honest opinion, but in the end it will happen. One Bitcoin will always be one Bitcoin and will be 100 million Satoshis and will be 10 million Satoshis and will be 100 million Satoshis and one Satoshi will always be one Satoshi. So it's very interesting to see these questions every time popping up again and again because you're too much depending on that US dollar. If that US dollar would crash is the question that you're asking me. If, and that's the wrong question because the dollar has already crashed. The euro has already crashed. They are just fooling you that the dollar still is one dollar and the euro is still one euro. But can you still buy the same goods that you could 10 years ago for that one dollar or that one euro? No, I think you can buy like 80% less for that same one dollar. So the dollar and the euro have already crashed, but they were kept stable to one just because of printing a shitload of new dollars. But that led into inflation for you guys. So it means that you think still, ah, I still have $10,000 on my bank account or 10,000 euros on my bank account. Yes, you still have 10,000 euros on the bank account. No, you can't buy shit anymore with 10,000 euros. 10 years ago, 10,000 euros would buy you a shitload. Now, 10,000 euros won't buy you shit anymore. So the dollar and the euro have already crashed. The dollar, if you calculate the intrinsic value, went from one dollar, the value today, like we are talking about 20 years ago, to now is four cents. The euro is happening exactly the same. Your purchasing power, what used to be one dollar, is now four cents. So it has already crashed. I think the only reason that we're still pegging Bitcoin to the US dollar is because, of course, people still used to calculate in dollars and euros. But what about the phase that we went from the Dutch guilder to euros? Of course, in the beginning, we were always calculating ah, so much euro, one euro is uh, two guilder, 27437 or something like that. We have been calculating a long time like that. Ah, two euro 50, ah, that's about six, seven guilders. But it took a little bit of time for us to forget that beautiful Dutch guilder completely. We're not calculating in the Dutch guilder anymore or the German Deutsche Mark or the Spanish peseta. No, we are all happily calculating in euros now. And that combined with inflation, yeah, destroyed complete Europe, we all know that, but that's how it works. So we were calculating in Dutch guilders, we got the new euro, then after some time we are calculating in euros and we won't be calculating in the Dutch guilder anymore. Now we are calculating in the euro and we are calculating in dollars, we have Bitcoin, it won't take very long that we will be calculating in Bitcoin. That euro and that dollar, that will slowly phase away against Bitcoin. Because in the end, everyone will understand that Bitcoin is the best currency out there.
And yes, of course, I understand that people still want to, want to calculate in dollars, but the dollar and the euro have already crashed. So for me to answer your question in a very simple way is very difficult, <laughs> but it is very clear that the dollar and the euro already have crashed, but that those very centralized parties and the billionaires and the millionaires don't want it to crash. So why would you think that they would allow the dollar to crash now? They will keep printing a shitload of those dollars. And once they convert the dollar to European bank digital currency, the European bank digital dollar, it will become even more easy for them to print dollars. And they will keep that always on the one dollar. But you need to start to realize that that value of one dollar is fooling you. You won't be able to buy anything anymore for one dollar in five to ten years because of the inflation. And that's the magic trick that they will keep repeating. They will make sure that one dollar or one euro will be one dollar or one euro, but they will also make sure you won't be able to buy a lot with that dollar or euro in the future. And that is why we treat Bitcoin as a core capital. That is why you should treat Bitcoin as your core capital. Because with Bitcoins, you buy more and more groceries every four year cycle. Every four year cycle will be higher top, higher bottom. You will be able to buy more and more with Bitcoin and less and less with dollars and euros. Even if those dollars and euros still appear the same amount that you think they are. It's a magic trick. The news for today is that the BlackRock Spot ETF now had inflows for 72 days in a row. 72 days of inflows in the BlackRock Spot ETF. The numbers are insane. We are breaking all the records that are possible to break with the Bitcoin Spot ETF. There has never been a Spot ETF as successful as Bitcoin. With other words, so even in the Spot ETF industry, Bitcoin is the king. Bitcoin is the king in every industry. If you want to replace gold with the digital gold of the 21st century, Bitcoin is the king when it comes to gold. If you want to replace Bitcoin uh, for another fiat currency, Bitcoin is the king when it comes to fiat currencies. Bitcoin is the king in all of these possible assets that you know of. Even if you want to fly to Mars or to the moon, wherever you want to go and live in the far future, you can take your Bitcoins and Bitcoin will be the king over there as well. It's very simple. Bitcoin is the king if you compare it to all the other assets that you know of. So stocks, bonds, fiat currencies, gold, silver, diamonds, all precious metals, all of that is nada compared to Bitcoin. Bitcoin is the king. So not only for spending peer-to-peer -peer cash, but also as an investment vehicle. If you want to make your capital grow, you should be invested in Bitcoin, not in any of those other. If you would have invested in gold, $1 in gold 15 years ago, you would now have $1.80. If you would have invested $1 in Bitcoin 15 years ago, you would now be able to buy a yacht. That's the difference of your investment mindset. So the news for the day is, yes, the spot ETS have been successful, as you can see over here, all the inflows and outflows. And yes, there is a lot of outflows of grayscale, but that will come to an end. Because in the end, no people are holding their spot ETF Bitcoin at grayscale anymore, and they will be out of Bitcoins and they can't sell anymore. And then the buying pressure of all those other spot ETFs that will keep increasing. They will push Bitcoins into heights we can't even imagine at the moment. And I'm not talking about this bull market. I'm talking about maybe the 2028 or 2032 bull market. But there will be a bull market that Bitcoin will be higher than $1 million per Bitcoin. So buying around 61K, you could have done last week, is now 66K. You can do today. And if you wait a little bit longer, it will be 70 or 80K. But then still, if you have the patience to wait two cycles, it will be a million dollars. That's a shitload of profit if you ask me. Bitcoin is king. I am running out of inspirational quotes, guys. So give me your best inspirational quote down below this video and also give this video already a thumbs up and share it, of course, with your friends and family. The inspirational quote for today was something I read on a coffee mug that Jessa bought. It was a Spanish lyrics and that Spanish text said, give hope to life and give wings to your dreams. But then in Spanish, I forgot the whole Spanish one, but I will make a picture and post it on Instagram so you do believe me. Uh, give hope to life and wings to your dream. And that is exactly what you need to do. Give hope to your life. You need to hope for the best. You need to think that everything is possible. Give wings to your dreams. Don't keep your dreams caged in a birdcage where it cannot fly. 
Don't keep them under your mattress. Don't keep them anywhere else than giving them wings to fly. Your dreams need to come true. And to have your dreams come true, the only thing you can do is give those dreams that push. Give them those wings. Give them those wings to spread the wings and fly. Like you're giving your kids also the wings to be able to fly. Kids will always spread their wings at the end. You do everything you can to raise your children in a perfect way. But in the end, they will spread their wings and they will fly away and they will live their own life. They will follow their own path. That's why you put so much energy in your kids to prepare them for that future where they spread their wings for, that they will be able to spread their wings in a beautiful way, in an independent way. That is exactly how you should treat your dreams. You should put a shitload of energy in your dreams and then give those dreams the wings to fly. But it all starts with putting energy in that dream that you have. Not by neglecting it, not by going to your job every day again, doing whatever you need to do like a robot, while you don't even consider that as your dream. If your job is your dream, just continue this. If your job is not that dream, maybe you should start to focus a little bit more of your energy, like 90%, <laughs> only 10% to your job, yeah, your boss will be happy, but 90% of your energy should be focusing on that dream. Give that dream at the end the wings to fly and you will make sure that all your dreams come true. That's how simple it is. You have a certain amount of time every day and a certain amount of energy every day. You now just need to make sure that you shift your focus and your time from the things that you don't like to the things that you do like and love and dream of. If you start to do that a little bit, minute by minute, stealing minutes from the things that you don't like and putting those minutes slowly into your dreams and your passions, your life will change. Same like Bitcoin. If you keep stacking sets, stealing the euros and dollars out of that system and putting them in Bitcoin, yes, you will grow your capital. And if you want to do that with your dreams, then you should be spending that more energy and time to your dreams, fulfilling your dreams. So, give hope to life and wings to your dreams. That is the inspirational quote for today. Let's all fly away to the beautiful moon with Bitcoin together. Let's take it to the moon, guys. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, leave a comment. What do you think about all charts? What do you think about all tips? What do you think about spreading your wings? And yes, I know I will be going down on the boulevard and the beach. I know you all love the sound of the waves and I will go there and walk there every day again. It was just a little bit busy in the first week coming into this new place at that to the news place and there is a lot of things happening in our life with the Amazon Prime series now probably even going live all over the world uh, starting with the United States so there's a lot of work for me at the moment and I will still continue to do all these daily videos and they won't be there exactly at the same time every morning because my life is tremendously busy at the moment I even did one life uh, in the weekend so yes my passion is still here, my passion is in educating you, uh, but I also need to take care of myself now and then, and that is why sometimes the videos may be there on different times, guys. Now, hope you still enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, and see you tomorrow again.